Hey there, what's going on you guys? I am Jerry and welcome back to the program, The Chicago Griller. It is October 2020, so you're going to see a lot of people in masks, not only because Halloween is coming up, but because let's not forget, we are in a global pandemic. That said, panic buying has subsided a bit, but we are still seeing shortages of random items in stores. And the latest thing to be in short supply is this, canned pumpkin of all things. But that's okay, I have a solution to that because I'm gonna show you how to turn this regular pie pumpkin into this grilled pumpkin puree. And you could do this on a Weber Q, a gas grill, or a regular convection oven. Now the first step to this is you're gonna to wanna to hit that like button, subscribe, and then join me after the intro and I will show you how it's done. Here on my cutting board today, I have one pie pumpkin. And yeah, it actually is called pie pumpkin. You'll see it's actually labeled as such on the bottom. These are not to be mistaken with those cute little decorative pumpkins or those large jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. These are actually quite cute and can double as a dog toy. And once your dog is done playing with the pumpkin, the first thing you need to do is cut it in half. So grab a sharp knife and the sharpest knife that I have is this made in cookware Santoku knife. And as you can see, I am no professional chef here, so I'm having a little bit of trouble. And finally, here we go. Carefully carving this pumpkin in half. And voila. Now from here, we are going to be scooping out the stringy guts and scooping out all of the seeds. So grab a spoon and some kitchen shears and start scooping out the guts and the seeds. You should be able to use your spoon to scoop out all the seeds and the guts pretty easily, but use the shears if necessary. And here we are. You see the pumpkin has been cleaned out pretty thoroughly. There are still some stringy bits to it, but that's okay. It'll burn off on the grill. Now at this point, we're going to want to remove the stem of the pumpkin and sometimes you could just pry it off with your hands, but this one is a little bit stiff. So I'm going to grab my made in cookware San Toku knife again and just cut it off. And there we go. And now to prepare this pumpkin for roasting or the grill, I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle it around the perimeter of the pumpkin. This is so it does not stick to your roasting rack, grill, or your baking pan or oven. And now I'm just going to use my hand and fingers and gently spread it evenly across the surface of the pumpkin. And once that's set, the pumpkin is ready for the grill or the oven. Now here I am on the patio. As you can see, I am the Chicago griller and not the Chicago baker. So I have preheated my Weber Q to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to lay the pumpkin directly onto the grill on a roasting pan. Once that's there, go ahead and shut the lid. And we're going to roast this for nearly one hour. Now, if you're using a grill to do this, you're going to have to fiddle your knobs a little bit and figure out what setting will get your grill to 375. So it's a little bit more straightforward on a regular oven. Since this process takes an hour, I'm going to do a beer check. Today, I've got a half acre Oktoberfest beer. Besides drinking, you could also use this hour to clean up and thoroughly dry out your pumpkin seeds and then prepare them for a roast. Roasted pumpkin seeds make a fantastic snack, but you need a little bit of seasoning on these. You can use whatever blend you'd like, but today I am going to use this blend from La Master Family Kitchen here in Chicago. This is their Tosa blend, which is an Indian style blend, but a barbecue or cinnamon blend works just as well. Anyways, take your spice mix and just sprinkle it on top of your pumpkin seeds. Then using your finger or a spoon, just toss and sift the seeds and the spice blend together. Once they're mixed, you also then toss it into the oven or grill at 375 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
Anyways, between the beer and our seeds, we're getting close to one hour of roasting, so let's go outside and check on our pumpkin. After nearly one hour, you can see our pumpkin has now turned into a deep orange or red color, and we're ready to pull this off the grill. And I should have used grill gloves instead of this grill mitt, so I need to use this brush as leverage to get this off the grill. And finally, there we go, no problem. And back in my kitchen, here you have two halves of my roasted pumpkin. As you can see, the stringiness inside has burned off a little bit, as promised. And you'll also see that this pumpkin is super tender and soft, and can be easily scooped out with a spoon. Once you have all the pumpkin scooped out, you can just place it in a large bowl. To turn this into a puree, we're going to add about a quarter cup of milk, as this will help make the puree nice and creamy. Then for me, I am going to grab a mixer. If you have a food processor, you could use that as well. And just turn it on and puree your pumpkin. And as you can see, it looks a little bit stringy at first, but after a very short amount of time, about a minute or two, you'll see it turns into a nice, creamy, delicious looking pumpkin puree. And now that I got this plated up, you can see that this puree is nice and creamy and it can be added to pies, pastas, or whatever your heart desires. Now, let's not forget the pumpkin seeds. These have been roasting for about 10 or 15 minutes in my oven because I didn't have room on the grill. These are a delicious snack that you won't find in a can, so munch away and enjoy. Okay, so that's it. That's how you guys can turn this ordinary pie pumpkin into grilled pumpkin puree. It's a very useful trick at this time of year while there continues to be a bit of a canned pumpkin shortage. Now obviously it's not as convenient as just grabbing a can off a shelf and dumping it in a bowl, but it does have the side benefit of you actually knowing what is in your pumpkin. It is 100% pumpkin and not whatever mystery item a manufacturer decides to put in. Anyways, let me know in the comments section down below if you plan on trying out this trick for yourself. And if you do, how it goes, and what you plan on using it for. Is it going to be pumpkin pie, pumpkin risotto, pumpkin pasta, pumpkin ravioli, or other? Thank you very much, as always, for watching me today. If you enjoyed the show, definitely hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much again for watching me today. I can't wait to see you all again next time. Bye now.